morning all or afternoon shall i say this is going to be the first ever pies and pints podcast and we've just come out of custom house station uh and west ham are playing tonight i can hear a bloke in the background singing uh i'm forever blowing bubbles which is uh always good always welcome so um yeah we've been in town today uh and there's a new pie mash shop open which is great news you know uh, you you often hear people think it's a dying breed pie mash shop shutting down but i don't think that's always the case i think it's uh you've got to evolve you've got to embrace change um a lot of sprouting up in the suburbs but this is one in fairly central london so uh long may it continue never been here before um so really looking forward to it really excited to uh, get stuck in i'm here as you can see a little bit of fanfare got the balloons out so uh let's give it a go let's see how the tucker and barry's matches up Now this is the post pie debrief from uh, Pies and Pints podcast. Um, it's our first ever session. I'm on my own today. I'll generally, be my brother on a lot of these, or my brother will be doing them on his own. But we just like to uh, give you our view of pie mash shops in the area, give them a bit of a rating, and yeah, just give you that feedback. Now, as I mentioned earlier, prior to getting stuck in um went to barry's pie and mash shop which is a new entry into the market so i believe having spoke to the owner terry he used to have a calf on the premises and that shut down to open a pie and mash shop uh went in there really enjoyed it so uh the criteria we're going to go with we're going to go with five uh, marks out of five for the food then we're going to go marks out of five for the service and atmosphere. And then we're going to go marks out of five for the decor. Maximum being 15. Now, I want to give a shout out to Terry. Seemed a real top bloke and I wish him all the best in his new venture. Now, we're going to kick off with the quality of the food. People might think I'm being too generous. I'm giving it five out of five. It was really good, really tasty pies, good quality meat. The mash portion could have been a little bit bigger, but I'm not marking the guys at Barry's down for that. So uh, maximum points, maximum rating for Barry's pies food. Um, I'll then go on to the atmosphere and service. Can't knock it. Had a little chat with uh, Terry. Uh, the owner seems it's a family business. Obviously, it's their only their second day. Um, it, you know, it's bearing in mind it's a Thursday afternoon. Yeah, so there was a few people in there. There was a little bit of crack in there. Um, I wouldn't say it was pumping, but I wouldn't say it was quiet and empty. Uh, anyway, but I think location-wise, it's probably going to be one more for the local um, than you know people travelling, but. I would recommend travelling, Custom House, Crossrail, if you're in South East London, East London, you can get there easy. So I'm going to go, well, actually another little thing that I thought was good, obviously I met the owner, I thought his name would be Barry. It isn't. Um, the shop is named after his uncle, who said was an ice cream man. Um, so I like that nice little touch. In terms of atmosphere, service, I'm going to go three out of five which brings me on to finish on to the decor now I'm a traditionalist I like my pie and mash shops to look a certain way other people might be different people might not care people might disagree with my taste but I would say 
rating out of five for Barry's would be a two. Decent tables, a few photos of things like the Eiffel Tower, um, not really what I'd associate uh, to be hanging on a wall in a pie mash shop, uh, to be honest, but each to their own. My view is a two out of 10 on the decor. So we're going five plus three plus two, 10 out of 15 for Barry's Pie Mash Shop. Decent score, um, room for improvement, but a very good experience and all round really enjoyed it. Yeah, so wish all the best to Terry and the staff at Barry's Pie Mash Shop. God bless to you all. One thing I didn't mention, obviously on Pies and Pints, I'm sitting in the Black Line in Plasto, having a pint, having a think about the pine mash I've just had. So if you haven't been in this place, wow, this is a real traditional East End pub. Love it. The wood panelling, the photos on the wall, jockeys, obviously it's a West Ham loser, Bobby Moore with a World Cup. Um, this is the quiet bar. Um, as you can see, pretty quiet. Um, the main pub and bar is round the corner. Real welcome staff. Um, trying Heineken Silver for the first time. I think it's a bit, it's like a light beer, but real nice pub. I'd recommend, you know, a lot of West Ham fans will know, know this place, but if you're in the area, Plasto, just down from Plasto Station, Give this pub a try. It is a lovely boozer. Real traditional East End pub with warm welcome. So come down.